In this tutorial we're going to look at calling or removing items from a list. Sometimes when you're working with geometry, um, for example a railing, um, there might be one post within that railing that's very repetitive that needs to be removed because there's a boulder or a rock or something, some unique feature of the site or building that does not allow that repetition to um, occur seamlessly. So this can happen a lot when you're doing parametric architecture where everything is parameterized and connected but then there's that one or two pieces that needs to be taken away from that um, linked repetition because of some other kind of condition. So that's what calling is for. So let's go ahead and make a panel and I'll just uh, do a series of numbers here and we'll just turn that to multi-line data and so um, if we did call there's a few different calling options we could do call index and all of these are located under sets and sequence all of the calling options here and so if we plug in the list into this uh, component and then let's plug in uh, to see what's coming out of there we can actually choose a very specific item to remove from the list so let's do a slider 0 less than 9 or 8 um, and plug that in here and then you can see here let me get rid of that last one there you can see like let's say we want to remove this 5 we can go to list item 4 and then from that um, the new list will remove that item so this is a really great way of just removing very specific items from a list there's also call int And call nth will remove every nth item from a list. So if we use that same um, slider here, let's just copy this down here, um, we can remove, for example, every second item or every fourth item. So whatever you have here, this will be the frequency of the removing. So for example, every second item is removed and then the new list is formed. Um, so that's a way to get like every even number, or every odd number. It's really useful for that. Um, the other thing we can do is a call pattern. And so we'll just copy this again. And with a call pattern like the like the list management we looked at earlier, you actually can plug in a pattern here. So um, a pattern would be zeros and ones or trues and falses. So a Boolean pattern. So we can say, for example, zero, one, zero, zero, one, 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 one. And you can create any pattern you want, and it will then use that pattern and remove based on those zeros and ones. So for example, it's going to remove the zeros in this case, and it'll keep the one, whatever's a one. So it'll remove, keep, remove, remove, keep, 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 and it will wrap, continue to wrap that. If you have a really long list, it'll just continue that pattern over and over again. And so there are a few other ones there, but those are the, the ones that you'll use most frequently. Random reduce will just remove randomly a number of items from a list as well.